Hello guys, this is Amos Doll Music and in today's lesson I want to teach you how to play the Columbia Films, the intro theme, okay? That plays at the beginning of like the movies, okay? So here we go. So give you a preview of this main theme, it's pretty awesome, it goes like this, check it out. So let's get started, okay? So, this is what happens, okay? So we're gonna break it up into six parts, so it's easier to learn. All right, so here we go. Okay, so the first part, very important, is the right hand. The right hand has this repeating uh, have repeating 16 note motive, that yeah, for every single uh, bar, uh, for one, two, three, four, five, yeah, so the first five parts is always this right hand, these 16 notes, so you have to remember this pattern. It's really simple as well, so right hand starts on the G here, middle C, go up an octave C, go up to the G, that's where we start on, so it goes, G, F sharp, E, D, C, D, A, F sharp, and then you repeat those eight notes again. So yeah, essentially the 16 notes is very easy because it's just eight notes played twice, okay? So one more time, so it goes like this. So it goes G, F sharp, E, D, C, D, E, F sharp, G, F sharp, E, D, C, D, E, F sharp. And those are the 16 notes for the right hand, okay? So yeah, that's that for the right hand, okay? So make sure you get it smoothly like this. Like that. And that's the right hand, okay? So once you get that left hand, uh, these, this, we have four elements here on the left hand, so it's really simple, it's just octaves, it goes, okay, C, okay? So if you can't do an octave, just do individual notes, remember, okay? So it goes C, D, E, F sharp. Okay, so those are the four notes for the left hand, so just C, D, E, F sharp. Okay, so the two hands together goes like this for the first part, so it goes, together, 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 Pretty simple. It's pretty much uh, like one left hand note per every right hand, like four notes. So the first note, and then the fifth note, ninth note, on top of the right hand. Okay, so it's together, 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 like that. Okay, okay, moving on. The second part is really easy as well because the right hand, as I said before, is exactly the same thing. Just once again, the 16 notes. Which you know, okay? So you know that for the second part for the right hand, but just the main thing is the left hand changes here. So the left hand, we have this three notes. It goes C, E, G together, and then E, F sharp, and then C, G together, and another C like that. Okay, one more time. So it goes like this. So it goes C, E, G, and then E, F sharp, and then C, G, and then C like that. Okay, like this. Like that. Okay, so the two hands together are for the second part goes like this. So it goes together. Together, together, and then together, together, like that, okay? So the last part is where uh, it's a bit um, sped up a little bit for the left hand. So it goes like this one more time. So it goes together, 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 like that. Can you see the last two notes on the left hand, okay? So one more time like this. Like that. Okay, you can see, okay? So that's that. Okay, so back to back, the two parts we've learned so far would be play like this. Check it out. So it goes... Okay, so yeah, like that. Like that. Okay, so moving on to the third part. Third part, right hand continues. Uh, the same 16 notes once again, which you know. Okay, we shouldn't explain it that much because, as I said before, for the first five parts of the right hand, every single part is always the same 16 notes. So that's something for you to remember. Okay, once you do that, left hand for this third part, we have these following four elements. So first of all, we have the triple note here. It goes C, E, A. And then F sharp G A. So only that, okay? Pretty simple. So C E A triple note, and then F sharp G A. Okay, so once you get that, the two hands together goes like this. So same placement like the first part, where it's like just one note every four notes on the right hand. So like this. So it goes together, together, together. Like that, okay? So together, 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 together. Like that. Okay, back to back, the three parts we've learned so far will be playing like this. Check it out. Moving on to the fourth part. Once again, the fourth part, right hand's exactly the same thing. So it goes like this, it goes G, F sharp, E, D, C, D, E, F sharp, G, F sharp, E, D, C, D, E, F sharp. 
Bowler, which you know very well. Okay, and that's the right hand for the fourth part, left hand. I'll uh, we'll change it up once again. It goes triple note, C, G, B, and then G, A, B, like that. One more time, so it goes C, G, B, G, A, B. Okay, so yeah, the two hands together for this fourth part goes like this, so G and the chord together. So it's together, 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 like that. Okay, pretty simple stuff. Okay, one more time, like this. So it goes together, 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 together like that okay so that's that okay so yeah so back to back the four parts we've learned so far we'll be playing like this check it out it goes like that moving on to the fifth part the fifth part right hand is sort of similar it only has the first eight notes so it just goes and then it changes it goes C D like that Okay, and that's it. So this is a new eight notes plus C D. So da 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 C D like that, and that's the right hand. Okay, and that's the right hand. Left hand, it goes like this. It goes triple note C G C, and then B C D like that. Okay, so yeah, that's that. Okay, so C B C D. Two hands together goes like this. So it goes together, together, and then it's pretty much it goes C. D, okay, you can actually like just do it with one hand if you want. You don't have to sh like share it the same because the overlapping voices happens here. So it goes like this. So it goes, and then, yeah. So you can actually do it the left hand an octave below if you want. So you have the double effect there, okay, instead of sharing it. So it goes like that, okay. So that's the fifth part. So back to back, the five parts we learned so far will be played like this. Check it out. Moving on to the sixth and last part, it's pretty simple. Uh, it's turned back to melody and chords. So left hand is E major, which is E, G sharp, B. So we just hold that E major and the right hand just plays notes. So it goes E major and E together. And then down to B, down to lower E, up to B, and then B flat, B, G sharp. And that's it for the right hand. Okay, one more time, it goes like this. So it just goes E major and E together. So B, and then B, E. Flat B G sharp, and that's it for the right hand and the left hand for this sixth and last part. So that's pretty much it. So what you can do, uh, you can add extra stuff to it if you want. Um, let me see. You can be like, uh, like that to so make the right hand bigger, and also just do like left hand tremolo, that kind of feel. Or you can do arpeggio. You can be like. It's really up to you, whatever you want to do. Okay, but anyways, that's pretty much it. So it is a pretty awesome intro. So I hope you enjoyed this intro. Um, as for now, that's pretty much it. So check out the rest of my channel if you like this type of step-by-step -step tutorials. I have literally multiple thousands of them for you to enjoy and learn from. So a lot of stuff. So go ahead, yeah, enjoy your time with that. And then also check out my website, bestpianomethod.com, linked in the description below for those who want to learn piano from me, learn how to play by ER, improvise, read sheet music, play and sing, and a lot of other cool stuff. Okay, so check that out as well. But that's pretty much it enjoy your time around my channel and see you next time i'm glad you made it to the end of my video now you can visit my website to learn how to play this or any song you want through my methods explained through books and courses or just get me to make a full song video lesson or sheet music transcription on any song you want using my customized services as for now enjoy your time around my channel subscribe and see you next time